like Charlie Bronson's a good friend of mine. I, I, I've known Charlie for a long time. The, the system made Charlie Bronson. The Bronson is the system. That's his mum and dad. They lock him in cages, treat him like an animal, right? No one's, I know he's got a bad terrible record, but underneath all that, he's a nice person, Charlie Bronson. He does all his art. Still kept. He's never killed anyone. He's still banged up now. And this is going on. I've got loads of mates who are still in there now, like my co-defender. He's never coming home, right? And he's got these other kids, outrageous murders like kids and things like that. And they treat people more like me, who's, who's after a few quids, a lot worse than what they do child defender. They want to bang us, up, want to lock me up, you know? Yeah. There's pedophiles out there just getting six months, deferred sentence, 18 months, and they're doing some nasty shit. Do you know what I mean? But again, the system is flawed. There's a fault in it. It's yeah. set up to fail. What was Charlie Bronson like then? How's, how's he? He's still in good contact? Uh, it was a funny story. We was in, we was in Franklin, and um, there was only like 10 Cockney eyes. He's turned up that Kenny Noise fucking shook the game his hand, and we all went, what? thought, really? So you know, don't do things like that, mate. And then um, the geezer turns up, I'm standing with a fella, and uh, he walks out and sees the graphs. Well, I knew him from, I knew him, what he'd done, he was, stra was strapping bombs to security guards, right? I knew all about it because people that come from my area, most armed robbers were sort of brought up in area areas, you know who they are. Like, if you watch a film called Town, Boston was the main thing for armed robbers. Canning Town and Stratford was a breeding ground for people like me, you know, so. And uh, so anyway, calls him a grass. You know, so well done, Marshall. I sweep the geezer's legs, kicks the geezer in the head, knocks him out on the floor. So Bronson went, fucking hell, Vic, what the fucking kick that was. And I went, yeah. All of a sudden, now all the screws come out. We were in Franklin Prison. And they were trying to take me off the yard, right? So he'd come walking over. I went, well, coming in. So me and Bronson, all about, so the cockney ace were fucked. We have to have it off with the screws. So we had a big punch out of the screws. They've run. They've run. Uh, they've run. All the screws around started locking the cells in the blocks and that. So he goes, right, let's take the jail over. But never, never, ever happened in Franklin before. So I said, I think, fuck me, I've started this off. I'll get another 10 here, like. So I was going, come on, let's just lay you. So lock the cells. Like, anyway, it all, get, it all gets calmed down. Then it goes off again. And then, and then Bronson's involved in it again anyways. So they put me down the block. So they said, right, if you don't come out the block, don't get him out the block, we're going to smash your jail up, right? So anyway, so uh, they give in. So this is a funny story, this is so... They said, right, we want to see, we want to give, we want to hear what you want to say about Cockney A's or, Co or Cockney double A's. He said, we want to hear what you said. So there's going to be three governors, bring three inmates and we'll sit down and go stop the beatings and all that's what we wanted, right? So he goes into the governor's office. There's a governor sitting there, governor sitting there, governor sitting there. I, think I, was, I was with Nicky Dunford at the time, so we walked in there. There's another category A. So he said, right, what do you want? All of a sudden, the door goes, bang, the door flicks open. And I ain't joking, he was standing there, bollock naked, big pair of boots on. He had a fluorescent <laughs> tube off out the light. <laughs> and he went to the governor's, no, there, And I ain't joking, them three governors sat there like that. They sound like Tom and Jerry. They went, <laughs> it's all slid through the things like that. And, and that's how, that's, that was Charlie Bronson. He was just like a... Uh, a fucking character. Yeah, because he only got jail for a, a robbery at the time. Yeah. And now he's over 30 years. Yeah, and he's still in there. I mean, like, there's loads of people in there like him who should be... Let, who, who Do you think he'll ever get out? I hope he does. He's a nice bloke. I yeah. hope he does. There's loads of people like Paul Glenn. He should be released. He should be there. Who's he? He's my Cody friend. He, he yeah. never killed that person. Mm -hmm. He should be released. Yeah. Well, not, he, he was there. He's going to get some bird, but don't lock him up for the rest of his life for something he didn't do. Yeah. 